Today's episode, No Brainer. <laughs> Gumshoes, Carmen San Diego and her slew of smarmy smugglers have struck again. This time, they burgled a batch of brains in Russia. Moscow's Academy of Medical Sciences is home to a unique group of laboratories, the Brain Institute. For nearly 70 years, scientists there have collected the brains of deceased poets, painters, physicists, and presidents. That gray matter has been sliced, diced, pickled, and tickled, all in an effort to determine whether great minds are anatomically different from the average brain on the street. The list of noggins in a jar reads like a who's who of the former Soviet Union. There's Vladimir Lenin, founder of the Soviet state, tyrannical dictator Joseph Stalin, writer Maxim Gorky, and poet Vladimir Mayakovsky, to name but a few. There are even animal brains, including those of an Indian elephant and a Mississippi alligator. If you're a fan of frontal lobes, if you crave cortex, if you're serious about cerebellum, this is a place to be. Or it was. And to Robocook, that pilfering pile of artificial stupidity, raided the Institute and cribbed all the crania. Gumshoes, your mission uh -huh. is to bring in Robocook bring back the brains, and then bring down common San Diego. They've ripped off the goods. Now chase down those hoods. Carmen San Diego. <laughs> and one of these people could find her. Amar Rivari. <laughs> Christina Nazar. John Paul Durazio. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Hello, you okay? <laughs> oh, thank you. So much. Right. Hi, guys, how are you? Good. Fine. Oh, very good, a little subdued, but that's okay. You've heard about the case? We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Mm, Any time you uh, answer a question correctly, we'll give you ten more crime bucks, and the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. And as always, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Okay, Chief, let's go. Greg, Robo Crook has stolen the Soviet Brain Institute, and there's no time to lose. Now here's the profile on Robo. <laughs> It'll take more than a bundle of brains to boost his rusty IQ. And here's what we know so far. Robo took the brains to the country north of the Bay of Bengal. Now, this nation's location makes it very vulnerable to cyclones. Its low-lying plains along the Ganges River Delta are in constant danger of flooding. So, when a cyclone hits, and that can happen several times a year, the potential for disaster is enormous. In 1991, 125,000 people died because of a single cyclone. But in spite of tragedy, the people have reason to hope. Recently, they voted in a female prime minister, Begum Khalida Zia. Gumshoes, the people of this country are strong and they deserve a break. Get Robo out of there now. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, to what country did Robo Crook go? Was it Pakistan, India, or Bangladesh? Remember the clues that we heard? Bay of Bengal, Ganges River, and Prime Minister Begum Khalida Zia. All right, come up with the answer as quickly as you can, trying to find Robo and the Brain Institute. Amar is ready, so is Christina, and so is John Paul. Amar, we'll start with you. What do you think? Well, Greg, I chose India. <laughs> India. What do you think, Christina? Well, I chose Bangladesh. Bangladesh. John Paul? Well, I chose Pakistan. Pakistan. Well, the answer is Bangladesh. Nice job, Christina. <laughs> nice job. Okay, so Amar and John Paul, you're still at 50. Christina goes into the lead with 60 Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job. Amar, tell me about yourself. Well, I like trying to go to um, different and new amusement parks. I love that. How many have you been to? Like 10. Really? Sounds like a fun hobby. I like that. Christina, tell me about you. Well, I'd like to be a foreign diplomat when I grow up. And hopefully, I'd like to be stationed either in the Mideast or Europe. Great. So you like languages and things yeah. like that? That's great. Okay, John Paul, how about you? Well, um, I've traveled to all the states besides Alaska and Hawaii. Great. What do you want to be when you get older? Um, an engineer. Wonderful. Great to have you guys on the case. Please welcome them all to the show of your All right, guys, listen up. We have our next clue coming in now from a, uh, Angela Watson, an agent for Acme Step by Step Net. Watch. Greg. 
Robocook was spotted on an island off East Africa. It's only 23 miles from the coast, but there's a strong Arab influence. That's because Omani and Persian traders began sailing there nearly 2,000 years ago, and some of them stayed to rule. You can still see the ruins of the palace where a sultan lived with his dozens of wives. And that's where you'll find Robocook with his dozens of brains. Good luck, gumshoes. Thanks, Angela. Okay, guys, to what island did Robo go? Is it Zanzibar Island, Madagascar, or Mauritius? Remember the clues that we heard? Island off East Africa, 23 miles from the coast, and strong Arab influence. Okay, try to come up with an answer as quick as you can. Everybody's ready? Amar, we'll start with you. What do you think? Well, Greg, I chose Mauritius. Mauritius. What do you think, Christina? Well, I chose Madagascar. Madagascar. John Paul? And I chose Madagascar. Madagascar. The answer we're looking for is Zanzibar Island. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Nobody got that one. But hey, don't blame me. Remember, all of our answers have been verified with National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Uh, okay. We heard now that Robo Crook has left Zanzibar and went to Israel, okay? So, for our next... Okay, you guys know what that means. It's time now for the lightning round, which means all of these questions are about Robo's most recent known whereabouts, which is Israel. All of them are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. From 1969 to 1974, Israel's prime minister was one of the few women in history to serve as a head of state. Was her name Indira Gandhi, Margaret Thatcher, or, or Golda Meir? Amar. Golda Meir. Golda Meir is right. Nice job. Five for you. Question two. Jerusalem is considered a holy city by a number of the world's great religions. Which of the following faiths does not? regard Jerusalem as a spiritual center. Islam, Christianity, or Buddhism? Buddhism. John Paul? Buddhism. Buddhism's right. Nice job. Five for you. Question three. Shalom is a traditional Hebrew greeting that is used to say both hello and goodbye. It also has one other meaning. Is that peace, how are you, or have a nice day? Amar. How are you? Sorry, it's not how are you. John Paul. Have a nice day. It's not have a nice day. Christina. Peace. It's peace. Nice job, Christina. <laughs> nice strategy on your part. Okay, so that means at the end of the uh, lightning round, Amar has 55, Christina has 65, and John Paul has 55 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Greg, That's what do. get in here right away. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, you gotta stay here. I gotta check with her. She means right away. Oh, this is a fine time to redecorate your office. Well, I'm not redecorating my office. These men came in and broke a hole in my wall. Look! Hey! Oh, hey. They're digging a sewer line. Oh, hey! Uh, either we put it through here, or we gotta do a 2,000 mile detour. And according to my blueprints, Max, the blueprints. Thank you. Hey, buddy, hey, buddy. There's not supposed to be anything here. That's because this is the secret headquarters of Acme Crime Network. Oh, 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 uh, heck. Uh. We are never going to capture Carmen San Diego with all of these distractions. Hey, Acme Crime Net, you're those guys trying to capture that uh, Carmen character? Hey, I remember when she tried to steal that Washington uh, Monument thing. Took us a week to glue that thing back into place. <laughs> That's us. But heck, for you guys, a little 2,000 mile diversion, and eh, no problem. Oh, well, uh, what about the hole? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. We'll repair the wall, and just so there's no hard feelings, we'll send the gumshoe who captures Carmen to anywhere in North America for free. Deal? Uh, that's fine, sir. Please, I think you guys are great, you know? <laughs> and you know what else I like? I like every day when you come into the, uh, the, the, the office here yeah. and then you tell him to... Go away. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. He, uh, he really likes that part. You too. Yes, ma'am. I tell you, Norm Abram would be proud. <laughs> okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Robo and the Brain Institute. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Robo and Carmen San Diego. Watch. They're on your trail, Robo. Bag the brains and head for a city in eastern Germany. It's been home to Mendelssohn, Bach, Schumann, and Wagner. Are those the new Ninja Turtles? No, Canhead. They're great musical composers. You can hear their works played by the Gewandhaus Orchestra, Germany's oldest professional orchestra. Perhaps I could jam with them. They're not into heavy metal. Dress yourself up as a tuba and hide out in the brass section. Okay, guys. Name the German city, if you will, please. Is it Cologne, Hamburg, or Leipzig? Remember the uh, clues that we heard? City in eastern Germany, home to Mendelssohn, Bach, Schumann, and Wagner. 
Gewandhaus, Germany's oldest professional orchestra. Those are the clues you got to put together to come up with an answer. Everybody has. Amar, we'll start with you. What do you think? Well, Greg, I chose Hamburg. Hamburg. What do you think, Christina? I chose Hamburg also. Hamburg. John Paul? I also chose Hamburg. Hamburg. The answer we're looking for is Leipzig. <coughs> Sorry, guy. Leipzig. Sorry about that. No, that means nobody got anywhere on that one. Okay, gumshoes, listen. It's the early 1900s, and Australia, a newly independent country, decides to build itself a new capital. Easy, right? Wrong. The new countrymen argue for seven years about where to put it. Then another year goes by before they can agree on a name. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm, about halfway, I should say. They finally settled on an Aboriginal word that means meeting place. But every Australian agrees on one thing. They all want to get rid of Patty Larson. Mm, okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Canberra, Sydney, or Perth? Remember the clues that we heard, Australian capital. Name is an Aboriginal word meaning meeting place. This is the final clue this round, so place all your answers right there in front of you once you're ready. Gabriel, you're ready, right? Yep. He is? Okay. So is Franklin. I know Michelle is ready. Okay. Franklin, we're going to start with you. You have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? Well, I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say, Frank? I chose Sydney. Sorry, Sydney's not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 30 to 60, but this thing isn't over with yet. Michelle, you have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 10 points. 10 crime bucks. What'd you say, Michelle? I said Canberra. Canberra is exactly right. Nice job, Michelle. <laughs> Up to 100. Gabriel's looking pretty happy. How much did you risk there, Gabe? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. If you're right, you and Michelle go on to the next round. What'd you say? Canberra. Nice job. <laughs> Michelle and Gabriel going on to the next round. Franklin, listen, you had a great round, man. You came back at the very end. You almost won this whole thing. But tough break there at the very last. But we have assembled a kit for you that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. This has been a tough, tough case. And we've never found Patty Larceny without your help. And to show our gratitude, we're giving you this Acme Travel Kit. Inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And since all work and no play makes our gumshoe cranky, we found a way to combine the two. Use this world ball to study the globe. And then, when the work is done, take time out to perfect your slam dunk. Yes! Good job, Chief. Be careful, Greg. Okay, Chief, I'll be careful. Sorry. Okay, guys, as you know, now it's time for us to go to Canberra to try to pick up Patty and the loot. You guys all packed and ready to go? Yeah. Okay, listen, uh, I must have left my hat out there in the alley. Uh, Gabriel, uh, uh, Michelle, rather, if you grab the door, please. Gabriel, if you pick it out on the way out for me here, just head right this way out. I think I left it out here with the fellas. We're on our way, though. We are. Here we go. Gee, I love the stylish body lines on this baby chief. Yes, it's very aerodynamic, isn't it? Hey guys, here we are in Canberra. Take your positions right here. The chief is here and has some very important information she wants you to hear, so listen up. There are 15 places here in Canberra where you might find Patty, the Warrant, or the Wild Pony. Let's look at a few of them. First, the Australian Parliament House with its rooftop walkway. If you hear the pitter-patter of a stampede overhead, you know where to find those ponies. Next, the Supreme Court. Not the sort of building where you'd expect a crook to hang out, but this one surrounded by some fine grasslands for grazing. Now, if she slips out of Canberra, don't fret. We've posted around-the-clock guards in the bushland. Sure, these disguises can get mighty hot, but Acme adorable animal net agents are truly dedicated. That's your briefing gumshoes. Case Canberra carefully. And pinch that pernicious patty. Okay, guys, just as a reminder, you have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn. If you do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. You catch Carmen San Diego, you get the trip. It's that simple. Gabriel, you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Uh, Lake Burley Griffin. Lake Burley Griffin. Nothing there. We're on our way. Michelle. High Court. High Court. Nope, sorry. Gabriel. Uh... 
Schumann Center. Uh, Jolomont Center. The warrant. Okay, nice job. You got the warrant. You get a free turn. But remember, you have to go in the right order. Loot, uh, warrant, crook. Lake Burley Griffin. Lake Burley Griffin. Yeah, you've seen this played before. We turn this back around. Michelle, your turn. Australian War Memorial. Australian War Memorial. Nothing there. Gabriel. Uh, Red Hill. Red Hill. Nope, sorry. Michelle. Academy of Science. Academy of Science. Nothing. Thank you. Hi. You're welcome. <laughs> Go ahead, Gabriel. Captain Cook Water Jet. Captain Cook Water Jet. Hi, Ooh, nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. It's your turn. Go ahead. Uh, what was the name of that? <laughs> we get a point. Uh, Regatta Point actually is a place where they have this huge globe that traces Captain Cook's voyages. But we'll try it. Regatta Point, what do you think? No, I don't think it's there. We turn that back around. Michelle, your turn. Anzac Parade. Anzac Parade. Patty. Okay, you got Patty Larceny. You get a free turn. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Be careful, Michelle. Regatta Point. Regatta Point. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Gabriel. Can you do it? It's your turn. Go Captain ahead. Captain Cook Water Jet. Captain Cook Water Jet. A horse is a horse. A horse is a horse. <laughs> Saving the best to last. Kumat Go ahead, Center. Gabriel. What is it? Julamont Center. Julamont Center. The warrant. You have and, uh, the loot. You have the warrant. Do you remember where Patty Larceny is? Anzac Parade. Is she still at Anzac Parade? <laughs> yeah! I say it. Get the thing. Come here, come here. Rock and roll, man. Nice job. Now all I have to do is put Patty in jail, pull on the chain and do it, man. Okay, you did it. We'll talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. First off, Michelle, listen, you are a fantastic detective. You stayed with Patty all the way to here. We have something very special for you. Chief. Every day all around the earth, the airways are buzzing with vital information. Now, to hear what's happening, you need a world band radio like this one. And because you worked so hard today, I'm going to give you the radio along with an Acme travel kit. And my sincere thanks for a job well done. Congratulations. Hey, see? All right, now you know what you have to do. That's Catch Carmen San Diego. But before we do that, we want to find out where you'd like to go if you catch her. Here is your portfolio made of creamy nougat. Inside, there's a stylus and a piece of paper. Open it up and do it. We're going. Right in. <laughs> have you? Have you been there before? No. Oh, I have, man. Oh, hold on a second. got to get your phone. Any idea who's there? What's that? The sack of potatoes. On the phone. Here we go. Hello. What? Yes, he's. Right. It's for you. Can you believe this? Happens every show. Hello. I used to be a sweet, innocent schoolgirl. Now I'm a sweet, guilty schoolgirl, and it's all Carmen's fault. Go look for her in North America. <laughs> What's she say, man? Uh, no, I couldn't hear. Her. Oh, you couldn't hear her? <laughs> well, I have a good idea that we're going to North America. Uh, North America, Chief. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Yukon, Canada. Great Bear Lake, Canada. British Columbia, Canada. Saskatchewan, Canada. New Brunswick, Canada. Lake Ontario. North Dakota, USA. Utah, USA. Kansas, USA. Texas, USA. Campeche, Mexico. Cuba. Dominican Republic. Greg, let's go to the map. You ready to go? Yep. All right, there's a couple of things I want you and everybody else to know. We have some symbols that are new on this map, and this is a new map for this year. So step right over this way. This year, the circles mean cities and islands. Over here, we have the squares that mean national parks and uh, monuments. And the arrows, bodies of water, okay? Now, if you get eight of these in 45 seconds, and you're right, uh, if, you, if you get eight of these in 45 seconds, you're going to win the trip. But if you place a marker on a thing that's right, you'll hear this sound. If you place a marker on a thing that's not right, you'll hear this sound. You'll hear that sound twice, leave the marker where it is, come back, we continue. But you get eight right in 45 seconds, you get the trip. Are you ready to go? Yep. You guys ready to go? Yeah! All right, man, let's do this thing. Come up here and grab a marker. All your buddies are here to cheer you on. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock, please. Good luck to you, Gabe. Here we go. On your mark, get set, 
Go. Come on with the Manhattan, Kansas. 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 No, try it again. Yes. Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario. Ontario. Yes. Saskatchewan, Canada. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Try it again. Yes. Provo, Utah. Provo, Utah. Sorry, man. Provo, Utah. Cheer them on, guys. Yeah. White Horse, Yukon Territory. Yukon Territory, Canada. Do it. Yeah. Havana, Cuba. Havana, Cuba. Cheer them on, guys. Yeah. Big more North Dakota. North Dakota. North Dakota. North Dakota, man. Yes. Santiago, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Last one. Come on. Come up here. Come here, man. Carmen San Diego. How you feeling, man? <laughs> Should feel good. Listen, a moment ago, you wrote down where you'd like to go, right? Yeah. All right. You wrote down where you'd like to go. If you caught Carmen San Diego, you did it. That means you and a parent are going to... Let's get Oh, All right, man. <laughs> You nailed that thing. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do it that fast. You were rolling, man. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Get it, Rocket Pella.